Yo, and welcome back to Tales of Arc. And we're back here on Maven no Gi. Renewal. Well, no, it's revamp, renewal, revisit, or for short, Maven no Gi re re re. All right, so as we're continuing on. After talking about Bag for a while, Blanya stands quietly with her eyes closed. You wonder if this is a moment where her memories are actively coming back to her. After a while, Blanya finally opens her eyes, looking squarely at you. You know what? Give me a second. I'm gonna go make something. I'm getting hungry. All right, I'm back. I'm boiling some water for some ramen. So I'll probably be BRB again in a bit. Ursula, just now I felt the wave wash over me. Since we've been talking about gold, I think I'm, it might be a memory related to some sort of currency here in Aaron. Hmm, Ursula, have you heard about the bank? Yes. Wow, you're such a cosmopolitan citizen of Aaron already, Ursula. It's like you got an encyclopedia between your ears. I don't know why. I thought I said between your legs. I don't know. I'm just hungry. My main, my my brain is like in in Wawa Land. I was thinking of food. As Blonde explains bank and bank and banks and banking, she pays special attention to what she wrote about checks. Let me just rummage through what I remember about banking and tell you all I know about checks. Have you used the gold box I gave you yet? Remember how I told you that using gold box increased the maximum amount of gold you can have in your inventory? But do you know what to do if you want to repurchase if you want to purchase something that costs more than the amount you can hold? As you probably guessed, that's where checks come in. You can order a check by going to a bank at any town and paying a small fee. And let's see, according to my record, in some case, banks have cut checks for up to 40 million gold. Isn't that incredible? That's why you should keep the options of checks in mind in case the needs ever arise. Let's go to the bank and withdraw a check. If the notes I made are accurate, it should be super simple. First, go to a bank and press, yeah, yeah okay. After getting the check, you speak to Blonde again. Unable to contain her excitement, Blonde claps her hands, sparking, twinkling in her eyes. You're back, Ursula. So how'd it go? Was it hard to get the, get to the bank to write you a check? I hope you didn't have to wait more than 30 minutes in some long line. Oh, it wasn't anything like that? Well, I'm relieved to be wrong this time. Hee <laughs> hee. What does it look like? What color is it? Does your paper have a fancy design? Please show me. Wow, so that's what a check looks like. It sort of looks like what I remember from way back when. Blonde examines the check closely, her eyes widen as some passing thought seems to light up in her mind. You know, I used to have something very similar to this. Maybe I just forgot about it. Like with the gold pouch. Oh, where was it? Blonde rummaged through her pockets, eventually pulling out a check that looks like the same as yours. Yes, this was the one. It's the same as the one you just got, right, Ursula? Haha, <laughs> this is great. Not only do I remember checks, I even have the same kind as you, Ursula. Hmm, I think it's best for you to take it though, since no one's going to cast a check from a girl they can't see. I don't want to just give it away though. Oh, hold on, Ursula. Well, I pulls out a quill pen and made a fluffy feather, place the check on the book, and do something on it. Oh, no, no, no. Don't look yet. You gotta wait a minute, Ursula. Right when you start wondering how long this is going to take? Phew, all done. Here, Ursula, this is a thank you for helping me remember all the checks. Lana gives you the check now, now adorably decorated in her personal style. Now it's a special check for my one of a kind design. Maybe you should frame it in a place of art. Oh, and you don't have to worry about the bank not accepting. I made sure to do the, anything when its signature goes, so maybe it should be okay. It may not be much, but, I'm, but it'll make me happy if it helps you even a little bit. I'm 8K Toto. Nice. It's a cute design of our girl blonde. In. You know what? I won't cash it in. It'll be with me forever. All right. Sorry about that. My Maru Chan ramen is the water's done boiling. So, yeah, I'm just letting it sip so the noodles can get soggy. Although, I wish it was udon noodles, but it is what it is. You know what, Ursula? I have one more thing I want to tell you. While I was people watching in Dunbarton Town Square, I got curious about something. All the people I saw had names over their head, and they all had something attached to their names. I mean, like, not just Ursula, but Ursula the Ultimate Bear Puncher. I would love that title. Here's myself an example. Maybe I'll be Blonde the Memory Seeker. Oh, Blonde Everything Coming Up Roses. It looks kind of cool and special, too. That's why I kind of ended up eavesdropping people who were talking about. Apparently, they're known as titles. Sounds like any Malaysian can have one. I went through my notes to see if I ran down anything about titles. Thankfully, I did have some, inform some information about them. 
According to what I wrote here, Malaysian receives special title that can add to their, to their name every time they complete a spe special achievement. My reading. Here's how you can equip them. Open the character's info menu. Okay. That's all I got. You know everything I remember like this. I get the feeling I, I must have known a lot about Malaysian before I lost my memory. You know, Ursa, if you're a Malaysian, maybe you have a special title already and you don't even know. Since you went through a rebirth soon, after we first met, how about the reborn? I'm excited to see what your name will look like with a fancy title, Ursula. Mm. Do I still have it? I mean, what, what am I talking about? Of course I have it. Can I change it? Oh, I can. Blind eyes wide open. Stares at you in rap fractionation. Wow, Ursula, the reborn? That sounds so cool. What do you think, Ursula? Doesn't having a title make you feel stronger, more important? No, it does not. It does not change my opinion on anything, really. Oh, wait, wait. I think they do actually make you stronger. Wow, I guess titles aren't just for show. That's news to me. I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget. Brian takes out her notebook and writes down the new info on the page about title. Ursula, when I look at you these days, I feel secure. Maybe that sounds weird, but I just know I can count on you. Maybe that means you've grown a lot, Ursula. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, at least someone does in this world. Like I promised, I'll do my best to help you however I can. I only hope I've been helpful to you so far. You have. Be no matter what you do, you're always the best. Only to Morgan. Why the face positively beams with joy when you say yes? Thank you, Ursula. I'm just glad to hear that I'm over the moon. Both moons, even. Oh yeah, they have two moons here. Oh, that's why I should have called you Ursula if they're reborn. We have to be proper now. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, I'm back. A girl with a smile as warm as the sun. Oh no. Hey Ursula, it sure is a beautiful day, isn't it? Are you familiar with the weather here, Ursula? The weather in Aaron can really change on you without warning. Sometimes the sun is blind. Okay, stop that, please. It's blindingly bright. Then, in a little while, you'll be in a rainstorm with thunder and lightning. According to my notebook, it rains a lot recently. Today, weather is just perfect, though. I was hoping this weather bring back another one of my memories, but... You can't help but notice that blonde looks a bit gloomy. I haven't felt the waves of remembrance wash over me yet. I wish I had something new to tell you. I'm sorry, Ursula. And now it circles your head and drops the letter. I think it's a letter for you. Who could have seen... Who could have sent it? Maybe it's something interesting. Open your inventory and read the letter. Is, is this another one of this? Okay. Oh, here it is. From Manus. You carefully open the letter as Blonde looks on. The first thing you see is the name Manus at the top. Hmm, Manus? I could swear I see heard that name before. Ursula. Ursula, I hope this message finds you well. I heard you've been going around Dunbar and collecting all kinds of useful information lately. Sorry to ask you this of you. But I, I could really could use some help with an urgent matter. If you're willing to lend a hand, could you come to Dumbarton's healer house? Don't worry, you'll be compensated for your time, Manus. I knew I heard that name before. Manus is a resident healer at the Dumbarton's healer house. My chance, are you familiar with the concept of healer house? Yes. Ah, I see. I have to start thinking about you as a true walking encyclopedia, Ursula. Now I'm wondering what he needs your help with. It's really, I'm becoming more curious by the minute, so let's head there right now. Manus won't be able to see me, but I'll be there to provide moral support. If you're not sure, uh, Dunbar's Hill House, press the lo location button in the quest detail. Whether you see the house or need display on the mini map. Oh, you came more quickly than I expected. I assume you're here to help then. Shall I catch you up on what's going on? Recently, we had a big storm pass through, or heavy rainfall. It rained so hard, in fact, that... Uh, a hill near Dunbarton completely gave way and collapsed. A lot of people and animals near the hill were injured. It was a real mess, let me tell you. Blondin, who follows you, speaks in a voice that only you can hear. Oh no, that's terrible. Thankfully, most of those who were hurt didn't have serious injuries, so I was able to handle the first aid for those affected. Unfortunately, the animals have proven more challenged than treat. There's not a lot of time left to help them, but I just can't treat all the animals by myself. Part of my worry stems from the fact that there aren't many folks doing part-time work at Healer House these days. So we're short in hand. That's when I remember hearing about you. So I sent an owl with the letter to ask for help. Whatever help you can offer, I'll take it. What do you say? Do you think? Yeah, let's go. Hurry and help manage treat those poor injured animals. Great, come on. I'll show you 
to the backyard where the intro animals are. Right this way, if you will. Manus leads you to his backyard where he's been keeping the animals that were entering the landslide. Alright, let's get right to it. These are the injured animals I told you about. I laid them on the soft grass for now. Even you can surely tell they need help. This one in particular is a bad shape, so I won't... I, so I have to give it my full focus to help it pull through. Oh no, that's so sad. While I'm taking care of this little one, I need you to use a healing skill to treat the rest of the animals. Hurry, we need to save every single cute animals. Um... It's F8. I was about to say, was that horse burnt? Because it's so dark. They did say they made um, skill easy to rank, right? So, 82. Wow. They weren't kidding. Oh, okay. You just rank on your own. And this is shorter too. That's nice. Thanks to your timely treatment, I can see their condition is already much improved. Because before, it was like one minute or something. But I guess I shortened it. I'm so glad the animals are on the road to recover, Ursula. Now feeling healthy enough to be back on their feet, the Welsh Corgi and the Castlolly approaches you. Hehe, <laughs> I think they're saying thank you. You know, when you were training those animals, you looked so dependable. It's like you grew a few years more mature in a couple minutes. That's fast, even for a Malaysian. Anyways, the animal seems well enough and we've done everything we can here. Let's say goodbye to Manus and head back to Town Square. Are you leaving? Let me thank you once again for all your help. Glad to have you around when it counts, Ursula. Take a well-earned breather, enjoy your day, and remember, the doors of the Hill House are always open for everything from a mild sprain to a missing finger. And hey, if you're feeling hell and whole, and as can be, you can always swing by and see me when you feel like you could use more energy. Wow, it sure has been a long day, hasn't it, Ursula? Blinda stands still, gazing up at the sky, as though she has something to say. We had a nice weather today, but I was still anxious because I couldn't seem to remember anything new. I've been worrying that maybe I'll let you down. Baby, you never let me down. You're like... What's that meme song? By that one guy with the red hair? The redhead dude? Like... It, it, it was a thing back in the day. When you click a link, then he just pops up and starts singing. I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about. Then the un unexpected letter from Manus dropped into your lap and we ended up doing a whole lot in a short time. In the, in the process, you got to learn something new and I recovered memories, so it's actually turned out to be a good day. In the end, maybe the nice weather really was a hint of things to come. We might only been together for a short time, but I think we achieve a lot, don't you? Juana takes out a memoir and writes down all, the all that happened today. Oh wait, already? Urza, look, we were in new at the end of the first volume. Once I finish out the last page with today's story, we're going to need a fresh book. A bright light starts to envelop Blonde's body. Wait, what's going on? Huh? Eek! No, what is this? Hmm? Wait. Urs huh? Ursula, Ursula, I think my memory stabilized. Yeah, I remember everything now. So far, except for my memories of you, I had to keep reading what I wrote in the notebook to remember the things we've done. Otherwise, I've forgotten what happens by the next day. But now I can clearly remember the things we've done together without having so much as to crack open the memoir. My name is Blonded. We met in Tear Canal. Gold goes into gold pouch and title makes you stronger. Sniff. Blonde softly cries while her tears are a dose of joy. After a quiet moment, she calms down and keeps talking. Actually, I don't think my memories have all returned. Not completely. Things from before we met are still hazy. Still, this is wonderful news. Maybe I'll remember even more about myself as you fill up the second memoir. Blonde approaches you, taking your hand in hers. Thank you for sticking with me all the way through our first memoir, Ursula. If I hadn't met you in Turk and now, it feels like the whole world will have forgotten about me. You know what? Now that my memories are more stable than before, I should be able to give you even more helpful info. If it's okay with you, guys, see the forget-me-not I gave you when we first met? This is new. You hand her the forget-me-not and Blondie begins to add decorations to it. Well, maybe not. This is my way of making a promise. 
Seeming satisfied, Blondie hands off the decorate forget me not back to you. Hee <laughs> hee, let's pledge on this flower to fill the second memory with lots of fun stories. Blondie dabs her moist eyes, beaming with her broad smile. A refreshing wind blows in the distance, gently brushing against your cheek. All right, and with that, we're done with the first book. I mean, there's some little things that change. The story beat is still pretty much the same. As for the objective and stuff you gotta do, some of it is different. Like, um, the timer is a lot shorter. There's no spiders. There's less ads. The dragon has less health, and you automatically rebirth upon uh, upon each mission. I'm assuming. So yeah. Although I'm still level 11, I think they just hand me the 200 AP. Yeah. But anyways, let's see what happens in Volume 2. Well, we know what happened. Unless you didn't watch it or you don't play Mabinogi, then you probably don't know what happened. But anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you later.